Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is methane emissions. First of all, let's see why it is in the news. Methane emissions from the energy sector remain stubbornly high in 2024 despite available mitigation measures. According to the International Energy Agency's Global Methane Tracker 2025, the report highlights the major contributions of the oil and gas sectors and underscores the critical role of addressing methane leaks from abandoned wells and coal mines. Now let's discuss about methane emissions. Methane, a potent greenhouse gas, is responsible for around 30% of the global temperature rise since the Industrial Revolution. It has a much higher warming potential than carbon dioxide and is growing faster in the atmosphere than other greenhouse gases. The three main sources of methane include agriculture, energy and waste sectors. Now let's talk about the key highlights of the report. China, the US, Russia, Iran, India and other countries are leading contributors to global methane emissions from fossil fuel operations. China, in particular, is the largest emitter of methane from fossil fuels. In 2024, the energy sector contributed approximately 145 million tonnes MT, of methane emissions with oil and gas facilities accounting for over 80 million tonnes. The IEA emphasizes that 70% of methane emissions from the fossil fuel sector could be reduced with current technologies such as upgrading leaky equipment and sealing abandoned wells. There are an estimated 8 million abandoned onshore oil and gas wells globally, which are responsible for a substantial portion of methane emissions. The coal sector remains a significant emitter, and the IEA suggests that methane emissions could be reduced by 50% by utilizing methane in mines or deploying flaring or oxidation technologies. On the bioenergy front, incomplete combustion of biomass for cooking and heating in developing economies contributes around 18 million tons of methane emissions. The report calls for clean cooking technologies to curb these emissions. Now let's discuss about Global Methane Pledge. The Global Methane Pledge was launched at COP26 by the European Union and the US, who have been joined by many countries. It aims for a 30% reduction in global methane emissions from 2020 levels by 2030. Countries such as Algeria, China, India, Iran, Russia, Syria, Thailand and Venezuela, which together contribute nearly 45% of global methane emissions from the energy sector, have not participated in the GMP. Now lastly, moving on to conclusion. The IEA's report underscores the urgency of addressing methane emissions, especially from the fossil fuel and coal sectors. Immediate action is required to meet global climate goals and reduce the impact of methane on global warming. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about Global Methane Pledge. 1. The Global Methane Pledge was launched at COP28 by the European Union and the US. 2. The pledge has been signed by all major emitting countries, including China and India. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both one and two. D. Neither one nor two. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications. Dibentures. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.